All right, watch this. This is what the guy on the internet did. You do this, and then you jump at the last minute. Nope. <laughs> do this, and then you... Why do you keep walking off the edge? There you go, and then you do that and that. Bring that back, and then you use that because you're an idiot. Again, with the start walking and... It's been too difficult. I've been Mark Lamar. This was never mind the Buzzcocks. See you next time. No. We're gonna... We're gonna... <laughs> Not do that. Do this. Right, what is Sage's stiletto? Inflicts a critical hit. Right, okay. Good. That is a very good synergy with our shield. Which is gonna bleed the whole world. There we go. So we need to parry and then attack. That's gonna be the best way of doing it. Oh... I maintain my welcome to everybody who has joined me from uh, various sources. And uh, again, I don't know if I have seen you show up in Discord since because I'm recording this straight away. But that was an amazing parry and don't you ever try and tell me that it wasn't. And there's some extra food. Also, I'm noticing that I have a habit of doing a parry and a roll whenever I have to deal with those things, which is probably actually the best way of doing it. Uh, thank you for a thing. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use it, but at least it's in my inventory. Something to sell later. <laughs> That's probably going to be what you're... You're going to be uh, fodder for food. For, uh... How did you not get leaded? Yeah, I, I've taken it upon myself to start um, rolling as soon as I've done that, because it appears to be the best way of dealing with <laughs> Because you know that the other one's coming, you know? Hey, what? No one said you could do that. I'm not going to try and uh, shield their shield bashes because I'm terrible at that sort of thing. Again, know thyself. Uh, that's only 15 enemies, are you joking? In two and a half minutes? More than? That's rubbish. Let's go and find some. Didn't even find the... Uh... Stop running away, lamer. Ow! I am berooded. What should I say? I... Can you please do the things I'm asking you to do, rather than just randomly taking damage all the damn time? Here we go. Uh, that didn't work too well, so here we are. You die. There we go. That was a bit of a... Uh... Bit of a spicy situation, if you'll forgive me stealing other people's phrasing. Because everything went wrong and I didn't feel like I had any control over it, even though I quite definitely did in that fight. I believe what I'm trying to say is, oops, my bad. See, that's how that should work, but it is not how it did work. So, oops, my bad, I guess. Thank you for the, uh... For the, for the actually successful attack. Now, stop this! Nice, nice, nice. Go on, bleed. Die. Uh, we don't seem to get everything that we could possibly get. That was an amazing time. You see, sometimes I complain about the timing of the shield. In the enemies are attacking at such a sort of phasing that I can't defend myself against all of their attacks. Credit where credit's due, this was the complete opposite. Nice. Didn't need to smash that, but there you go. Oh, and also, I have had to... Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> I got up today at about... What happened? Uh, half past two. I genuinely don't know what happened. I threw the thingy, and then all of a sudden there was a baddie in my face. No, no, sometimes I think maybe I'm trying to roll, and the roll is just not happening, and I'm not noticing, because I'm so confident that it's happened that I'm looking away. It's probably what's happening, and I can imagine that being the sort of thing that I do all the damn time. Uh, let's put this on. Is it poisoned or bleeding? Bleeding or... yeah. It's not a poison grenade, but... Are there poison grenades? I don't recall seeing one. I know you can have a grenade that has, a poison, has a poison effect on it. We're gonna give it... you give me chicken? It's quote you. Who are you? Um, I got up to start recording about half past two. It's now five o'clock. Hey, I thought you were going to give me chicken. Um, and a sequence of things went wrong. 
talk about this is what I'm going to call the uh, living with ADD section. The I don't like this uh, section of the show where I complain about my own brain being completely incapable of doing something simple. Is that a better sword? Might be. Just because it's an upgrade. <laughs> Why? How did I miss this? Yeah, I think it might be. Cannot be solved, obviously. We knew that. Uh, let's go and explore everywhere. We've wasted so much time on this floor and we got hit so many times that it's frankly an embarrassment. Uh, can we actually leave, though? Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> you got to... I think the, the, uh, I'm so impressed with my own. Uh, uh, oh, it's just that. <sighs> Golly. With my own productivity recently because I, I'm the sort of person who is very, very used to just sort of lazy, not getting out of bed until. Well, in the old days, it would be 11, 12, even afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, stuff like that. It's only been a couple of years since I would intentionally get myself, um, like force myself to stay into bed until stay in bed until like midnight or so because <laughs> everything sucks, uh, and I didn't want to do anything outside. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want any of the responsibilities. I didn't want to do any of the things that needed doing, uh, and I didn't want to do. You know, I didn't want to do anything other than the things that needed doing either, because then I would be doing something that I shouldn't be doing. Uh, I think I'm going to have to take um, this one. In fact, I might as well just use this straight away. So we have some opportunity to actually survive long enough <laughs> to, um, to parry an attack. Otherwise, we're just going to die straight away and it won't be any good. Hoping that maybe we find some... Uh, Food. One of these. Go. I didn't realize that the. Uh... Do you see that? Yeah, there you go. The rubbish. Wonder how. Uh... Wonder how soon you have. I wonder like what the timing is on the counting to ten jobby. when you are being considered for a, a, a crit bonus from this sword. Okay, I see I've got a speed bonus from going hell for leather like this. But... Like the crit bonus, that's all I care about. Stop stomping in the sewers. You know what happens. Yeah. There's, there's got to be a timeout before that counter resets, right? Thank you. Just what I needed. Uh, but, you know, recently I've become slightly more capable somehow. I try to shield that, but to no avail. Uh, I, I have somehow, and against my better judgment, become the sort of person who is capable of getting up in the morning, getting stuff done, <laughs> and then finding that it is early to mid-afternoon and I have nothing left to do that I don't have to do. Which is amazing. It's a, truly an amazing feeling because I'm not going to bed at any different time, right? I think this is the thing that I am most astonished by. I don't find myself so exhausted at the end of the day that I have to go to bed at, you know, silly hours. Mind you, I guess my idea of what a silly time to go to bed has somewhat changed as well. Because um, once upon a time I would be grumbling about going to bed. I tried to reflect that back in, by the way. I thought that you were stunned. Oh, my. I'm terrible at this game. We should continue the story in strafe. Join me. Those are my two games, uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, this is obviously Dead Cells and Strafe is... Look, I can understand if you don't want to watch Strafe for reasons of... Ah! Motion sickness, to be honest with you. Um... It's quite a, it can be quite a big deal, I see, motion sickness. It doesn't, it doesn't just go away. <coughs> and I've had a similar thing. I've had motion, why did I get motion sickness? I feel like I've had it recently. Um, but I, I can't think where. 
But that nauseated feeling that you get. Oh, well, it's the feeling that you get if you have a nap. That you didn't. Did you see that dude just run up? Look, I'm all for emergent gameplay and everything, but I <laughs> tried to go down this hole, and he ran up the wall and then climbed onto the pipe above. I didn't press any of those buttons. He just did it, just because the wall was that close. That time, I wanted him to do it. So I'm glad that he still did it. <laughs> oh! Pain. Let's get out of there. I made a space for myself, but those things explode too bigly. You're welcome to do what you want. I don't care about you. Oh, ah! Where did that come from? Ooh. Um, It's the same thing. I was describing this feeling of a nap some point. So, don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Exchanging this uh, HP backwards and forth. Quite a lot. Hold the attack to inflict it. I remember this being quite good. Let's try it. It does do a quick attack, which is the important thing. You know, you can't have a weapon that is exclusively... Oh, that's rubbish. Oh, not that bad. Can't have a weapon that is exclusively slow attacks, that's my issue. And I managed to get that right as well. I think I'm learning this game. How about that? Uh, so yeah, if you're susceptible to motion sickness, you can quite understand that you would not want to watch me play Strafe because it's a very fast game. I thought you already launched. Why did you use <laughs> I think I parried the explosion rather than the uh, rather than sending the thing, but I didn't even know I could do that. I knew I could parry the explosions from these uh, bomb flies that charge you down, but I didn't think I could parry the explosion from the grenade. It's interesting. Although I do find that if I <laughs> the way I'm playing this game right now, I'm basically parrying everything. I can't do it, friends. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. So living with ADD means that I have not yet told you what it means to live with ADD because I got distracted so many times between now and then that I have not actually finished a single coherent thought, which is why you watch the game, I know. Uh, same again, I think. Bloodthirsty Shield. See, what happens a lot is we do really well. And then, uh, sorry, we do really badly. Then all of a sudden we do amazingly well. Let's go for a brutality run. Mm -hmm. And then sack the shield off as soon as we can. Or replace it with a brutality shield. Because, uh, balls to shields today, quite frankly. Uh, apologies for my French. And don't tell Jen that I said that. Because I know that you're watching. <laughs> okay, good. Um, earlier on, so I've got this, uh... The thing that I do want to tell you is I've turned my computer tower around. And the reason for this is because I have a uh, have headphones. In order to use headphones in 2019, I have to adjust mechanically the position of my computer. And by mechanically, I mean in a physical sense. Like I literally have to pick it up, rotate it, because the length of the cord for the actual headphones is absurd and the length of the uh, distance is absurdly short and then like, I have yay amount of distance between the back of the computer and the my actual ears which you know is what headphones are for I wasn't sure if you knew how headphones work so I'm just making sure um, which is typically two to three times as long as the gap between uh, as the length, I should say, of the cable itself. So I have, for the past several years, had a particularly poorly constructed, very annoying and awkward um, extension cable plugged into the back of my computer, looped around my desk, and held in place by being trapped in a drawer, currently basically next to my right hand, so that I can plug the ludicrously short and, you know, unreasonably cheaped out on is it you again? Someone's groaning on the other side. Give me food. No answer. 
Get out of here, you freak. Leave me alone. It gives me food. Didn't need it this time. At least I was right. That is the door that sometimes gives you food. Didn't realize it was sometimes. Ludicrously short. Like, why? <sighs> there is no cost to cable, essentially. Right? Oh, hot chocolate. The reason I have this hot chocolate is because of today. I wasn't going to go outside at all, and now I felt like I deserved it, so I went and got it. Um, really? I might as well go this far. I, there is almost no fiscal value to cabling. Okay, that's this thing. Do we want... Give me that. Um, because it's such a mass-produced and cheap and easily recreated piece of equipment that I honestly cannot see a meaningful reason to be snide about it, to be stingy. You know, it's like... <laughs> oh, that's 30. Thank you. Well done, me. The one part of the entire ensemble of headphones, which isn't even made by the people who use it. Okay. Although it is a red shield, I noticed that. But I'm gonna... there's better ones. I don't want to lose the DPS that I've got from bleeding things just for a, a sort of an almost unknowable upgrade. Punishment 1 plus. Both attacks inflict damage on any of enemies. That is also fine. Although that one was doing burn damage, so I'm not sure. Come on then. Nice. <clears throat> Why is it so difficult to just give me more cable? It's a, it's a proper over the ears type of headphones. I can understand why earphones wouldn't have this length to them. It's not a it's not a selling point of earphones to have length. No. 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 Fine. Uh, very disappointed when I managed to actually open this door and still it's got rubbish inside it. Um, I don't need the frantic sword just yet or the knockback shield. I'm gonna do this because we're playing with fire at the moment. I would like to upgrade. Let's upgrade nothing because we keep dying anyway. Uh, we might as well see if we can get a bit further with some decent equipment and then upgrade that. I will keep this though, I like this. Oh, I didn't need it this time, I'm playing a little bit better. I'm talking about happy things, I guess. Which is to say I'm complaining more about rampant capitalism and cutting corners and cheaping out on things when... It's like... <sighs> okay, don't judge me, but I've been watching Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. The UK version at the moment, but you know, there's American stuff is on YouTube as well. It's just this happens to be on Amazon Prime. Um, I assume I can get up here without... Being dropped in the drink? Do you? Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> and... Yes. What? What part of magnetic grenade is... Is so difficult? Actually kidding me. I literally thought the point of this grenade was to stop that sort of attack. And pin them down. You know, otherwise I'll just get a... Bloody trap. Nice. Oh, I get XP for that. Oh, I whacked the uh, microphone. Apologies. That happens a lot. If you're new to the channel, get used to it. It's going to happen all the damn time. Nice. Carried at the right side there. Get the hang of it. Get the hang of it again. Um. Hang on. I was complaining about headphone cable. Right. Um, kitchen night because there's and so many of the. I just forgot that I couldn't do it. That I I missed. Can you explain? Because you probably didn't see what happened. Uh, I tried to parry the bomb, and I failed to parry the bomb. Well, now I don't want the mutation anymore, do I? Okay, I'm going to keep the shield. Let's uh, let's try for a, a decent shield rather, a, a red shield, which we have had, and I eschewed. But um, let's not talk about it. <clears throat> 
a lot of the people on Kitchen Nightmares have got this sort of hodgepodge and mishmash of, <clears throat> uh, of sort of a, an idea about what their restaurant should be. Uh, basically, one of the, the main issues that people have when Ramsey shows up to fix their... You know, what hurt me? I was behind this enemy. I have no idea. Um, is that they have no focus, you know, they don't have a a theme and or and it's usually and their menu is so vast and eclectic that the kitchen can't keep up. I didn't see that attack coming in. Too many things. It's not an ADD friendly game, is it? I'm just realizing. <laughs> I can't concentrate on this many things. No! Huh? I said no, really loudly and aggressively, and it took pity on me and did not cause me damage. Nice. The chef can't keep up, basically. And or people don't know what they want, and or it's just rubbish. I didn't even notice that grenade. I'm glad that I jumped when I did. Um, because the owner overrides the chef. Oh, don't get me started on this one. Although, do, because it's something to talk about. I thought you were going to do a long range attack, and so I did not anticipate what actually happened. Currently, my problem with the game is I'm bad at it. Ow. Right. Try this again. Um, in the kitchen, in a restaurant, I have learned. I didn't know this, and it, it does speak some sense, but obviously it's from centuries of experience of people running restaurants and making mistakes, right? The owner does not get a say in... This is exactly the same thing. No. Way better. Um, the owner does not get a say in the menu. It's not really hot chocolate anymore. The owner does not get a say. Chef gets a say in the menu. The owner can... Uh, obviously discuss with the chef what goes on the menu because the owner has some idea about what they want their restaurant to be but you always give the final say to the chef you know the, the chef is going to cook it the chef has the expertise the chef knows what's happening right? the chef knows how to do the job assuming that you have hired a competent chef, right? Which is a reasonable assumption, because if you didn't, then, you know, that's <laughs> that's a problem right there. Okay, so we're going to assume that you've done it right, and your chef is not utterly atrocious and has no idea what they're doing, and if that's the case, to be fair, Gordon Ramsay does discover that, installs a better chef, and then tells you off, <laughs> okay? Um, and the, the, um, the view that people have of Ramsay... This um, shouty, sweary, rude, loud man. It's very, very accurate. But, as you may already know, and if you don't know this, then I'm glad to be the one to tell you. He is perfectly civil to anybody who is not supposed to already know what they're doing. Where's the owl? I prefer owl over this grenade, so I'm glad I made this. But crying out loud. <laughs> That's not fair. Game designers. There should be no way of accidentally ruining this reward, okay? I know but this happens a lot. I, things get on top of one another. In that case, just your stupid character kept walking too far. Well, wow, that... I didn't expect that to reach that far. Oh, thank you. Um, Gordon Ramsay is very civil and very friendly the people who either are not supposed to know what they're doing already, or who are doing what they're supposed to be doing well and correctly. Right? So any chef worth his salt, Gordon Ramsay will be fair and balanced towards. Any restaurant owner who is on Kitchen Nightmares... See, you have to apply to this show. Oh, hello. I don't think I can do that. Or that. So I was... Well, they're the same values. Stop picking one. 
be in the middle. Um, if you're on Kitchen Nightmares, you're going to get yelled at by Gordon Ramsay because you've applied to be on Kitchen Nightmares, and worse, you've been accepted. Have you got anything for me? If you've been accepted on Kitchen Nightmares, then you're already a bad restaurant owner. Right? Because your restaurant is in trouble and you own it. If your restaurant is in trouble and you own it, then you're a bad owner. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Like, that's kind of the definition of being a bad restaurant owner. A restaurateur. If you will. Or even if you won't, I'm going to say it. Because I am pretentious. Pretentious. So you can guarantee that the kitchen, the owner of the restaurant is going to get yelled at because that person is supposed to know what they're doing and should not have taken upon themselves this challenge of owning a restaurant, which is a difficult thing to do, until they had, you know, all their ducks in a row in terms of owning that restaurant. I.e. they knew what they were doing, they had the right management, they had the right chef, had the right, you know, ideas, they had their own skill set set up because they need to be able to do something. What usually ends up happening is that the person who was doing everything badly ended up doing nothing at all. While, oh, Jensen, um, all the other people in the restaurant who had no real say in anything got given their relevant roles, and all of a sudden, lo and behold, all things working fine. <laughs> Trick is to give people their right thing, and you end up with someone on front of house, which is the owner of the restaurant, going around talking to all the people and making sure they're all happy and everything, and blah blah blah. That's all good. This is interesting. I'm saving... First of all, I'm going to wait for Jen to scare me from behind. Because she has entered the house. She will bring the dog upstairs and the dog will put her wet nose on me. And I will go yelp like a scary man. That will happen soon. Um, secondly, I haven't used my hunter's grenade. But that's because I haven't got to the point where... We have blueprints to extract from the enemies because that's further on however we do need to get there i think i'm actually going to buy this get rid of this um hunter's grenade i don't feel confident in this run and in order for me to feel confident in this run oh there's money it's left lying around i'm sure the monsters don't need it uh i, I basically want equipment that will help me through the run rather than oh hello Nice. Uh, rather than the current situation, which is that I have one inert item, which is completely doing nothing until such a way through the run that I, I, I've already decided whether it's a win or a loss, which could easily be decided by the fact that I have got that far and lost. So I'd rather have... Oh, hello. I'd rather have well, a better owl. And secondly, um, I'd rather have an item that I'm going to use over an item that I might use in future if we do well enough isn't really good enough for me. Let's go down here. Pick up that scroll that I can see. I'm trying to get 15 more kills and then we can uh, hopefully get something decent out of it. There's a kill waiting to happen. Look. First of all, give me my bird back. Secondly, put this at that. There we go. I'm trying to avoid taking any damage here, obviously, but for more than just the reason of usually why you don't want to take any damage, which is that uh, there's a lot more high stakes right now. Yeah, you do it, actually. Good idea. Third, go. Nice. It's 11 more. Ah! Nice. Okay, be cool. Yeah, <laughs> they're always coming out of the woodworks. This uh, infantry grenade has turned out to be amazing for us, so I'm glad that I made that decision. Because the off the reasons, the frequency with which you can chuck it is uh, supreme. Very helpful indeed. Stop shooting the wall, you monkey. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about just two minutes ago? Yeah, I'll take survival. Um, I appreciate that. Although I, I realise I've split my spec very considerably, which might not have been the best thing to do. But I didn't get the opportunity to put that in red, I think, so there we go. It wasn't the worst decision simply because of that. Um, there must be a way down there, right? 
It's probably that Kirby thing. Anyway, point is, ah yes. <laughs> oh, okay. The point is, it is always, always true that the chef should be the person. Are you kidding me? There are not two more enemies on this entire floor. Oh, 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 maybe. Uh, in charge of the menu, in charge of the execution, you know, you have a head chef for a reason. Yes, he's done it. Back of the net. That's a very rare occurrence that you've just seen, actually. Managing to do the entire... Oh! And immediately fails to do a simple thing like parry an explosion. Not that simple, but... Oh! Nearly failed that one as well. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Might as well finish him off, you know, we're here. Uh, I really, really wish that people in software would learn this as well. <laughs> it's the exact same situation, I think, is the trouble, right? It's not confusingly different. It's identical. You know, you have many experts in this field. Granted, it's a much newer field than cooking for um, several people. But this is, this is cooking for potentially thousands of people, you know? It's not just, it's not cooking and you can't poison people, but you can still, there's, first of all, you can piss them off. I don't want to, I don't, I don't remember what it is. I think it's the other prison with the extra weird stuff in it. We'll try it again, see what it looks like. But you have these people for a reason. And whenever you work for a software company like I do, whereby oh, this is terrible again. That's a five plus. Is that any good? This is a one plus. It's already better. I was just bleeding, but I'm gonna take it. I don't even sell that. That's how old. <laughs> that's how long we've had that thing. Um. Ooh, what went wrong? I've got fifteen. Uh, what is it? Can I have my mouse? I can't show you because the mouse pointer isn't showing up. Uh, but down here-ish, it says 15. 15 what? I'm going to fill this up. Also, quality of an object falls twice instead of once. That's nice, actually. I'll probably look into that at some point. Uh, I feel like we're going to keep this for a while, but this, this might be worth it. What have we got left? Probably worth it. We did get two levels of sadism out of that, which is nice. Is that someone coming up the stairs trying to scare me? I'm gonna be quiet every now and then to try and listen out. Um, it, it, it perplexes me, and it's like it's not just. I mean, that's the first thing I wanted to draw is that comparison between software engineering and chefing, because you know you're a you're a <laughs> you're an expert, you know, not just an expert, but you're like a, a craftsman. You can make horrible software just as much as you can make. No. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to open that to do that, but oh, right, no. you don't have to. Um. Oh, it's one of those horrible, scary birds where we died last time. I remember, I remember. Not, not literally last time. It's actually been some time since we died to those horrible scary birds that I haven't figured out yet. In fact, I was trying to freeze it and it didn't seem to be staying frozen. Very upsetting. Nice. Um, you know, it's, I don't think it's an inappropriate or like not even a meaningful... I think it's a very meaningful um, comparison to make because it's the same thing, you know. Like I say, sure, you're not um, likely to poison people if you do it too badly, but at the same time, first of all, you can poison them mentally by just making them so angry at you that they never want to use your website again and they just want you to go away and die. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, that works actually. I did not expect that to work. So well done me for trying something new uh, and letting it. 
Oh, what? I'm trying to parry it, but it's not parryable. Yeah, it's just not being parried, so heck it. Can you not parry this bird? Is that what you're telling me? Whatever. We learned. I tried. I think that's what happened the last time I died to that, is that I just assumed that it can parry it, because you can parry actual explosions. <laughs> you can't parry uh, being pecked by a bird, which is a bit silly. Oh, hello. I'm still trying, because I'm convinced that you can. But you can't, so whatever. I'll load that up on the wiki in between, because that was frustrating. Um, yeah, it's... It's a... Um, it's a similar... Um, similar... I mean... I don't want to be rude to chefs. <laughs> But I, I don't know if that puts yourself down a little bit, I think. You know, I've been in software engineering for a decade now. And it kind of feels like me saying I don't want to be rude to chefs by comparing software engineering to chefing is actually being rude to myself by saying it's not as difficult. Right? I understand how hard it is to, you know, cook food because I'm already bad at it. Right? So, not, <laughs> not killing people, sure, there's higher stakes when it comes to chefing because you know the the there's people under your charge whose like literal well-being is they're at your mercy <laughs> if you screw it up they're gonna be sick so there's one episode of uh kitchen nightmares where the chap was taken to hospital because he was given such bad food poisoning from the the restaurant's food now he was fine but not at the time because he like there's ammonia apparently in um in lobster when it goes off. And it's possibly true of all seafood. I don't know. I'm not a chef, nor am I a, a, a restaurateur, and therefore I don't need to know these things. And therefore I don't, except for of course you pick them up when you watch things that are essentially documentaries like this. But that's a that's a white knowledge. It's not. It's not part of my... Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's not within my remit to be required to know about this, uh, this truth of cooking, right? I don't need to know that. I'm never going to feed anybody a lobster. If you are ever going to feed somebody a lobster, you should know that, I feel. I really need to figure out about um <laughs> oh hello uh I knew that's better to be honest fire grenade might be better than the infantry grenade it's not <laughs> these are bad make sure you get this one back and just sell it um I, what am I saying? Anyway. Hello. I don't want to be in there. I feel like it is... Ancient sewers. Is that it? That's rubbish, isn't it? Not my favourite. <laughs> I'd rather go to the ramparts. I don't really like the ancient sewers. There's too many mushrooms and I get stressed out by the mushrooms. Because they can go to hell. It's not on me to know about lobsters, but it is on me to know about the intricacies of software engineering, and therefore that's what I do, right? Um, and I don't think it is rude to chefs or putting myself up or down. I think it's a fair comparison to make. And like I say, although there's less of a... Um, there's less stake. Well, even that's not true. It depends what software you're engineering. Because, hang on, I 
already won any of these. Doing, still doing a lot of parrying, so let's try this one again. It's sort of a combination of DPS and, and parry. I will double plus this. There we go. Oh, a full one. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't even think they made those anymore. Uh, like, sure, you will you could poison somebody if you're a chef. Poison? But you could, if you're a software engineer, you could be the reason why somebody's identity gets stolen. You know, you, you could be the owner of the database now that was compromised uh, 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 that lost, you know, all all of the user data. I mean, it happened at Sony. It happens at... I assume it's happened at Microsoft at some point in the past. You know, it's, it's happened at so many places. So it's preposterous to think that, you know, anybody more amateur than those big, big companies with a lot to lose, a massive stakes in their customer data, and a lot to lose if something goes wrong not just like not just a lot to lose because the customers are going to be mad at them and leave necessarily because historically people don't care actually which is weird um but they're going to be hit with a massive fine their their operating costs are going to go through the roof if you and it's all to do with most software is made Oh, that was a weird thing to say, and not quite what I meant. I was going to say most software is made by one person. That's not true. What I mean is the the most features, or each basically each line of code is written by one person. You know, the database is probably designed by one person, or that bit of the database is designed by one person. So at the end of the day, whichever line or function or database design or you know whatever the mistake was that caused the problem is owned by a single person in the whole company who might have left <laughs> yeah that's the other thing that the person who is to blame for the thing might not even be at the company anymore hey everybody I'm really going for uh, full coverage on kills here I don't know if it necessarily needs to, we've already been through this a lot. <laughs> you don't have to kill everything, but I kind of feel like I do, so I am. Also, it's the ramparts, so it's all exploratory, really. Bird v bird, nice. My birds are fighting. Um, give me red. I'm glad that we've got such decent weaponry today, actually. It's kind of rare. Um, so yeah, maybe you're not going to be the reason somebody gets dragged to hospital because they got ammonia poisoning from a, a, a out of date lobster, but you might be the reason why millions of customers had their credit card details leaked onto the the internet. You know, you're the reason why the dark web is <laughs> full of customer data from a company that you used to work for like ten years ago, and that's like. That's just uh, that's like the, the worst case scenario for bad software, I guess. But Well, it's not. Because what if you were writing healthcare software? Which I have been not directly involved in, but worked at a company that also did. And my last company did some work for the NHS. And it's probably still doing it right now because, you know, it, it wasn't finished when I left. Any mistakes in that, it could cost lives. And it does. Another one, nuclear um, nuclear power plants, nuclear weapons, military applications. Is, like, what if your software caused a bug in GPS that the military was using and cost lives on the battlefield or, or out on maneuvers or something? Or malfun like <laughs> the uh, obvious but fictional example is Robocop. You know, the the AI in that machine in Robocop, the the sentry, that was demonstrated to the board, ended up just wiping out the board. Because it was faulty. And somebody wrote that software. Ah, oh, lame. 
know, it was a, a fictional piece of software, but similar mistakes happen in real life that you can see how bad software engineering could very, very easily <laughs> yeah. be that that disastrous. So yeah, maybe it is not actually all of that bad a thing to compare what chefs do to what, oh, I've done 60 on this level. That's never <laughs> immediately get hit because I couldn't figure out where the noise came from. Uh, I thought that enemy was dead because the owl stopped shooting. Um, I think the owl might have just been shooting the wall, which has confused me. Oh god, why? Right, so we all have our responsibilities. And if you're lucky, you get work in a place. Like, a chef has always got that responsibility. There is 100% all the time you could poison someone with your food, so don't get it wrong. Um, whereas in software, that is a rare. You've got to be in the right um, industry in order to even have the risk. I expected you to... Uh, again, bad timing. Nice. Okay, I'm getting the hang of some of these enemies that I used to have so much trouble with. I'm really starting to get a little bit more in the flow of. But it doesn't mean that I can do them in, in anger, you know? Like, that happened then, but if that happened during something else, I will be panicking and then it would hurt. That was also parryable, you just have to get the timing right, like everything else. Just I wish the timing was the same on everything, which then would kind of be easy, really. It would be a bit more of a uh, Dance Dance Revolution game. Give me my bird back. Damn it. Can't parry that. Can't parry fires running along the ground. I mean, I say that makes sense, apart from the fact I can parry the... <laughs> Shockwave of an actual explosion, so. Thank you for not ruining everything all the time. It's all the same to you. Uh, I just. Yeah, I wish that. Um, software hirers would treat their software engineers like chefs. Which is fine, except that even restaurants need Gordon Ramsay to go in and say, treat your chef like a chef, right? So what hope do we have? Because we don't have a Gordon Ramsay in software. We don't have a consultant going into these companies and saying, these are your... These are your highly skilled employees. Employees? Is this American? Um, you know, these are the people who should make all the decisions. These are the people who, you just say what you want. Like the, the, obviously the the owner of the restaurant does have some say in the menu because their restaurant, but they don't. Hello. <laughs> they don't get a say in how it works. You know, if the menu is too big. If the dishes are too intricate or just bad, the chef vetoes. No, you can't have that. It's rubbish. You're a bad person. <laughs> you know, stop trying so hard to impress with... with like, you're not Heston Blumenthal. I mean, he is an experimental chef, obviously, and his entire like gimmick is weird food, but he's a trained chef. He knows what he's doing. You know, he's putting things together that you wouldn't consider went together. Not because, you know, they don't go together. Which is why most things are not put together. But because it's never been considered. That's his gimmick. That's his specialty. But if you're just a... <laughs> if you're not even a chef, you're just a, a restaurant... Ow, everything went wrong there. Just a restaurant owner who has some weird ideas listen to your chef because the chefs get upset on on kitchen nightmares that the restaurant owner is not listening to them. they genuinely just say that it's bothering them oh but there's no 
I have to wait for this bloody elevator. They say that it bothers them that the food is bad and it's not their food and it's not their menu. And the restaurant... Oh, I just completely ignored it. Everything, everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. Um, I am going to keep going in the damage department for now. I think it seems best. I've got an itchy nose. I don't know why. Don't tell my mum. Uh, they, you know, they, they get upset. So they know their job and... You know, it's easy to say they're entitled to that, and they are, because that's their job. Meanwhile, in software, you've got people upstairs always pulling at the reins and running the show and all that sort of thing, trying to get a say in absolutely everything. And it's absurd. <laughs> Stop. All right, that's the Impaler, which is up against the wall. But this... Is this better than this? This is a 5++, and this is only a... This is a 6+. I can immediately... 100% damage taken, but I can immediately reforge it, get into a plus plus, and I, it's easier to enable that crit. It's got less deeps. I will take it, I will not sell that. The other two didn't seem very good anyway. That's okay. Uh, you are gonna get... Uh... A health flask is more important at this stage. And then I'll upgrade this. Now we've got... We don't have any freezing. Running out of money. And we'll go. Toxic cloud is actually fine and critical... Okay, yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm a fan of all those three, so I'm going to go and get some more cash by selling this. Why is the return to thingy up there when the food is down here? Probably should have healed once or twice, huh? Well, if I have a healing thingy available to me, I will do so. Uh, you are full. There is one, so we'll do that. I've only got 3,000 HP, which is, seems absurd. Maybe it's not. I don't know. How are we at 50 minutes? We're only at the Black Bridge. It feels like we've done, like, 10 extra floors. Maybe we have. Who's counting? Um, like, if you're not familiar with software engineering... It's a horrible profession, <laughs> run by usually amateurs. Again, we have this problem where the people who run, who want the software, are equivalent to the owners of these restaurants. Nice. Who? Here you go. Um. Uh oh. Hang on. Itchy nose. Ah, stop it. You know who don't know how restauranting works. Don't know what chefs are for and all that, right? Ah. This is a bit harder when you don't have a ranged weapon to not take damage during. But that's okay. We'll get there. Um. Run away! Oh, that was close. How about you? You know, they, they know what they want, but they try and have a say in how it should be achieved. And, you know, obviously you work together. Just like the chef doesn't just completely ignore what the owner of the restaurant wants on the menu. But at the same time, the chef says, no, you're stupid, stop doing that. Ow. Oh. Stop being bad. Use it twice. Oh, lame. Didn't anticipate. I'm not anticipating. Hold to heal its head, but. <laughs> I don't have time! Oh, stop hurting me so much. Wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? No, hit him with a bottle instead. Hit him with the book. Stop putting the zappy thing up so I can't get you. Ow. Don't die to this joker. Don't over me, nice. Ah, my nose! It's, we don't have that figure. We don't have that person go in and say, why are you not listening to your developers? Or why are you doing all this rubbish? 
Because it's the same thing. It's, it's very analogous to the to the world of chefing in that they just want stuff and they don't ask you if it's feasible and they don't you know discuss options and and they don't allow for changes or for the person doing it to put some personality into it no software is different the personality of software <laughs> it's kind of a strange thing to say but can you just select this by default please? um i didn't win anything do you want to go to the sanctuary or still the... I don't want to go to the sanctuary because I keep dying to them golems. And the other thing that I've noticed is that there's no effort to provide a service anymore. Um, let me give you an example. I recently uh, our, our vacuum cleaner went wrong started making this smell, which I can only describe as, I can't only describe it, I think the best way to describe it is sort of burnt matches sort of thing, burnt matches, matches. it smelled like matches, right, uh, and I recognise it as the smell of a, like, it smelled like a brush motor's brushes burning, which is not a good smell for a vacuum cleaner, so I phoned up the people eventually. Uh, and it was still in warranty, and I said, there's a weird smell and I don't like it. Uh, it smells like burning. And they asked me to, you know, do this, that, and the other. Try things. Take it apart. Does this still happen? Does this happen when you do this? Does this happen when you do that? Yes. They sent me replacement parts. They took me completely at my word. This is, I, I have to tell you this. They took me completely at my word. Uh, no argument or anything. I said, it's making this smell. When I turn it on, it's in warranty, uh, help fix it. And this is nice, I think she was American, but she could have been Canadian. Didn't believe me that rugby was a town. Well, she did, but she was like, it's amazing. <laughs> How is rugby a place? Um, I, I really want loads of HP, but also I want more damage. I think because we've got 10 in there already. Oh, hello. Didn't like that. Do that. Why didn't you do that before? Mate. There we go. Nice. Um, you know, because Americans tend to be nicer in uh, um, in customer service on the phone anyway. And of course, remember, phoning people is an anxiety thing for lots of people, including me. So it was very appreciated that. Phoning this person was not an anxiety inducer. Because a lot of the anxiety of phoning people in that situation is that you have to go through these weird dances to try and actually get to the point where you talk to somebody. And it wasn't that difficult to get there. Um, there was a little bit of automated voicing and it said, if you're calling about a warranty thingy, uh, I think it specifically said vacuum cleaner. Uh, you have to have the vacuum cleaner with you and that's basically because that's where the serial number is. Um, and it turns out that they are going to, you know, try and diagnose a problem over the phone. And, and it's, uh, this is not a, uh, I'm assuming, like, no offence to them if this is the case, but I don't think that they will be a, you know, a, a, an expert technician. Because if they were, they wouldn't be, you know, <laughs> they wouldn't be doing it on the phone. They'd be, well, they wouldn't be first line support. Anyway. This uh going down pretty good, pretty well. Um, and ow, they literally just straight up sent me a new one. They sent me a brand new. The it was the part of the machine that does the sucking. You know the the inter the main body of the machine with the motor and the everything in it. All that nonsense. Straight up sent me a new one. Presumably from America. Unfortunately by DBT, but, you know, who's to say what's right anymore? Um, ah, oh, my nose! Stop itching! It's not, I've not even had any whiskey. Uh, 
Actually, this could be good, couldn't it? Let's see, let's see if it's better than the Great Owl of War 3+, plus, but I'm not going to be easily convinced about that. <laughs> when you get the hang of some of these enemies, their uh, silly attacks get a little bit silly. Uh, that's really good, but um, not good enough. So, bye. I, just I don't have to pick it up and put it down again. You just recycle him. <laughs> Sorry. That's very helpful. I didn't realize that. I have left my bird behind. I recognize this. Uh, I might go back and get it. I don't know if I'm going to go back and sell it if it turns out to have been the better idea. I ain't just whistling Dixie. They, yeah, they just sent me a new one. And that is what I consider these days good customer service. Once upon a time, what I expect, right? Uh, it seems like the minimum amount of respect you can give a customer is to not complain when they say your shit's broken and to just return it <laughs> and replace it and like, at your own expense. Because you sent a faulty thing out in the first place. And that is the case. Like, a company is responsible for fixing problems like that. Oh, hello. Stop. What is that? What happened there? Do you see the heart thingy? Oh, my face. Um. Okay, bye. And it's, in theory, it should discourage it because your bottom line is going to be hugely affected by the fact that your products are bad if you are required to, you know, pay out from your bottom line in the case that something goes wrong. And yeah, but people have started producing things so cheaply now. I don't know if you've noticed this. I have. Things are so cheap, it's not worth sending them back. That is the level that our, um, I didn't mean to use both of those, unfortunately. That is the level that we've, we've got to in terms of... Oh. Uh, like, mass production. So you send crap out, and then just leave it out there, like this... Oh my god. Like this, um... Excuse me, can you not? Like this thing I have. <laughs> why why was my special room for being on one heart, one boss cell, that bad? Um You know, like my my extension cable that went wrong recently. That I started complaining about in the first place. I've got a blueprint anyway, so what are you talking about? It... I don't know where I got it from. It was bad when I bought it. And it's still bad now. Hello. You're behind me, will you? Where is all this damage coming from? <laughs> Please tell me. So... Hi. Nice, 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 nice. What? Oh, it was against the wall. I didn't even realise there was a wall there. <laughs> nice. Hold on. Um, there is... I was thinking about... Uh, we've got a storage unit. I, yesterday I downsized. That's the other really productive thing I did, by the way. Stop lagging out on me, game. Um, was I spent four hours going from the big unit to the small unit and it's done. Uh, and now I don't have to pay for the small unit anymore. But, you know, it's one of those things that needs doing and uh, who's going to do it? Oh, it turns out to be me. Right? Sorry. Nice. Um, and... You know, it's costing us a lot for a big unit, and we spread things out along the floor, but 
we could have got away with stacking it all up in a half size, which is what I've done. Which is most of my yesterday, and it feels really good to have actually got something out of the way. But whilst I was doing it, I was thinking, you know, what about all this stuff I just want to throw away? Why? What do I do with it? And I obviously have to take it home. Because they don't provide a service whereby you can... I think this is the exit. They don't provide a service whereby you just say, hey, I don't need this. Dump it. Yeah, put this in the landfill. I don't care. I'm a millennial. <laughs> you know, sort my problems out for me because that's the world we live in. They do provide... And the reason I thought that is that, you know, they do provide services to... Uh, they provide, um, e.g., uh, packing materials, boxes. Uh, they sell padlocks for the actual unit, etc. and what have you. But they don't do things like that. And, like, I'm thinking, surely the best thing to do would be to have a, a well-rounded... It's like when you go to a posh hotel and... I've been to a posh hotel once or twice, and it was really, really good. <laughs> oh, I forgot my owl, so I guess I didn't need it. Um, I enjoyed being at this posh hotel because when I wanted something, I went downstairs and I asked for it. The person on the front desk would say, very well. In English, despite the fact I was in Portugal. Well, not the only place where that's been true. And there's a hotel we regularly visit in... Brussels for Fosdem and they have a sort of similar ethos you know it's a it's a hotel you don't just provide hotel services you provide customer services as a hotelier there we go now I've got to learn the thinking Order of these jokers. The timing, I should say. Do with upgrading this infantry grenade, I think. It is a 4. Plus plus. It doesn't really seem to be doing a huge amount of damage. Hello. Who are you? Didn't attack me when I wanted you to. Are you still up here? Don't know where you went. Um, because of indemnity, you know, insurance reasons and stuff like that, you don't really get too many companies doing things on your behalf. You know, what if you try to throw away an illegal something you didn't own? if you try to throw away something explosive. I mean, they have lots of rules about what you're allowed to keep in there in the first place. Um, but what if you just shunned those rules, nobody noticed, and then you try to get stuff thrown away, and then they threw away a whole bunch of stuff, some of which was explosive, and then all of a sudden... No, um, no magic here, just this letter. Huh? They're on a desk. There's no one. Day one, day one, day one, yeah. Um, so... Well, I don't like it, <laughs> is the point I'm trying to make, you know. I couldn't do anything... Got this floor. <laughs> I hate this power! I hate the fact that that exploded before I could shield it. There we go. Ah, oh, my nose will not stop itching. I've yet to figure out what causes my nose to itch like this. Did you think it would be clear? You know, it's the same itch I get when I've had a bit to drink. But what if it's just because I'm playing a video game? There we go. You do it. I can't roll because I'm still attacking. I don't want to still attack because the enemy's dead. Can you just stop attacking when the enemy's dead? That would be great. I'm going to put purple in again because we're going to need some HP at some point. Wow. 
That all happened in a strange order. I'm enjoying this shield because it's attacking things that have been... Oh, that's the exit. Um, it's attacking things that have been... That have attacked me from a distance. And then I parry their thing. Hey, why don't you just use... I don't need that. With the teleporter. Um, because of its AoE... Hey, that's practice with the boss. Nice. Because of its AoE, it attacks the enemy that got me, that tried to get me, even though it's far away is the point I'm making. Like those bomb thingies. That can be with their nonsense. Stop it! <laughs> I can't shield against this many things at once. Can you stop? Making three out of one is just bullshit, so just leave it alone, mate. Just leave it. No one asked you for your opinion. Have this. Can you get it there? You. <laughs> dong. Dong, da dong, dong, dong. So I wonder why it might be that we no longer have that. I don't know if we ever did have that service culture, but I feel like there are so many services. Basically, I know that some things had that service culture such that um, but it might have been just that the service themselves was only affordable to people who can afford posh hotels, right? I.e. the only service that we had in that old service culture was I'm trying to sh he, I was just pressing the button and he was ignoring me he wasn't even putting his shield up let alone shielding at the wrong time uh, and that's frustrating to me to be quite honest with you like, why, why am I pressing this button? I thought it had a purpose. Um, it's possible that that concept of service culture was simply not part of it. And now we have lower tier services. services like, uh, companies that provide services at a lower tier for a more affordable price simply don't do the thing because of... It's not <laughs> needed. If you wanted that service, you'd have to pay for it. And then the whole thing would be up. Mind you, all they're doing is letting you put things in a space. So, I find it hard for us to like, imagine that they're... Uh, <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is their business model involves owning ground and building a big box on it, right? So, so there's not much in that that needs much supervision, I suppose. There's not a whole lot of anything up here. Yeah. There's a... I feel like it could be cheaper. We get 24-hour access, but that's because there's an automated system. It's like, can we... Get the automated system nonsense. They like, stop. Can we, as a society, finally agree that charges for automated systems are not necessary anymore? We're gonna keep exploring this place. Uh, can you not put an elite on me? I'm gonna call bullshit on that because the elite is doing. Pain? Pain damage? Um, not good with pain damage. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Can't. <laughs> oh, I managed it. I say I took considerably less, um, 
damage than I expected to there. Can you not teleport me on top of an elite immediately in future though? No, it's just one of the things that frustrates me about the game that we are playing. That's going to hurt me when I <laughs> emerge, isn't it? Oh no, hold on. There's got to be some uh, some code that counteracts certain combinations for being an option. And being able to put a one of those um, nice. being able to put the The, 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 the scroll in range of a spinny. Spinny ouchie. Nice. It should be veto, in my opinion. But there you go. Another thing about software engineering that's caused me significant harm. And I will be uh, claiming quite early. Should have got the seals, probably. 43k. How did I do that? I'm going to be honest, it's going to be very difficult to improve my shield right now. <laughs> because of the AoE effect that it has. I know it's not a red one, but it's doing us really well. I'm quite pleased with it. But can we finally agree that anything that's done by an automated system doesn't need to cost any money? Right, okay, yeah, we need to maintain and run the automated system. But for goodness sake, it is not a £10 admin fee for a computer to make a decision based on an algorithm you've already written, okay? Not how it works. And I know it's not how it works because I write these algorithms. Well, I don't... <laughs> I guess that's the other thing that I was just talking about, isn't it? Who writes the algorithms? Right, the... The owner of the restaurant, in this analogy, is coming up with an algorithm to you know, define uh, something, in this case, for example, like the example I'm thinking of is, uh, I could actually see it that time, I didn't realise you could see them. You know, a, a common one is insurance, and okay, to be fair, it's free to get an insurance thing these days. Let's see what we've got in melee, uh, it's all rubbish again. Okay. I don't want to pay to re-roll it, because it's expensive. I'd rather just fight the bosses and stuff. Nice. The fact that it does damage to multiple things is grand. You... stop it. <laughs> stop being rude. Ah, there we go. Mmm... I think 11 is good enough to make it worth getting the benefits besides. Go. Oh. Yep. That's happening a lot. <laughs> Starting to get bored of the jump scares, which are not really that scary. Interesting. It's only a 4 plus. Um, I'm, you're going to need to do better than that. Sorry. That that's just far away. It's, it's, we're we're beyond that, honestly. We're, we're in the big leagues now. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to <coughs> dodge that on purpose by accident, but I did. So there you go. That's um again a bit of a rude place to put a scroll. So I think we should. I think we need an intervention in scroll placement. Also, this tower. There we go. Uh, the exit is that one, I think. Yeah, that'll do me. I'm not too interested in trying to find all the bells in the right order just to get a shield I don't want. So let's go and fight the boss. Somehow. <laughs> For better or for worse. Let me uh, a bit of drink left. You know, there's no... There's no cost. There's... There's a maintenance cost to having a, um, oh, I'm not sure no reason. <laughs> There's a maintenance cost to having an automated entry system and the CCTV and surveillance system, because obviously they do want, and it is valuable to have a uh, surveillance system. Nothing's causing fire. 
Reroll. Toxic is better. Um, because, you know, you, you want to be able to see that people are coming in and out and you want to be able to have a look back in time if something goes wrong. Sure. I can't imagine, by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> that the uh, surveillance system cost him really that much. again without failing stop moving I'm trying to hit you my oh, dude you're not being very friendly here a lot of this is do the thing and then do a dodge <laughs> Trying to uh, time that. I'd be very grateful if you would be stunned after I do something that you didn't expect. Like, for example, when I completely own you with your uh, dash attack and, and wallop you good and proper. Let me get three in. <laughs> Honestly, I'm wondering if it's not preferable to uh, let him capture you with the hook shot, and then shield the attack that he does when you're captured. Couldn't tell you. That's a lot. I don't like that many. Stop being so rude, my dude. You. I'm not sure if you can. <laughs> Where are you? Why are you the other one? <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. I can't... I am being stunned. I've noticed this actually. You know you're gonna. There we go. Capitulate. There's gonna be a long time before I can fight that fight without causing myself to take damage. Because <laughs> don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't like the fact you can go back in time and then be healed as a result and start again. At least everybody else has the good grace to just respawn. Um, five plus critical. Hit. I don't like it because I don't want to move. Don't sell that. Sell. It. Oh, heck you. Oh, there we go. Right, we're at the castle. It's an hour and a half, which is a lot better than the last time we got to the castle, although we still have to get through it. What we don't have is the right weaponry to get ourselves to boss. Or dealt with the boss. I, I really think we need... Well, maybe we do. We have the shield, but we don't have the skill to use it. Why am I doing that? That guy's got nothing for us. Um, and we are a melee build. But I don't think... Basically, I don't have the skill to get through the High Peak Castle without taking so much damage that we have huge disadvantage against the boss. We have to get through the castle and the boss afterwards with only one heal. Well, with only one replenished heal. No. No. <laughs> And I see the birdie. Birdie dead. I really wish I had an easier to implement crit. Um, hitting the same thing three times in quick succession, very easy to implement in theory, but it's not easy to implement in practice, because what you actually end up with is... Well, that's interesting. Bleeding. Yes. <sighs> yes. It loses us one level of survival for now, but we should get that back. 
I think, when we upgrade it at the end of the level. It'd be great to have upgrades in between levels. Yeah, it's better to shop here. I am actually probably going to re-roll it. Yes! What we need. So as I was saying, we wanted to be able to more easily enable the crits. And what I meant by that was that uh, as I was trying to say but didn't quite finish put to myself, as usual, um, is uh oh Um, hitting something three times in quick succession not actually all that easy. Um, because they tend to move, which is very rude of them. I wish they wouldn't. You take too long. Okay, that was a uh, difficulty. Don't forget, we can heal from our shield, but not more than once from an enemy, apparently. Is that true? Uh, so, we are uh, our stats are extremely balanced, which is not great. Uh, right, so, try to avoid getting into a position where you have to use your shield. If you can. can't use it well <laughs> which this is making difficult it'd be grand if we could have something that um this is pretty i've noticed these uh new enemies are actually starting us off for the boss of the level that they're on like they've got a little uh they've got similarities with the their bosses it's nice. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I think it's a good addition to the game is to have a little practice uh, pseudo boss up front before you have to deal with the real boss at the end of it all. Oh, I don't really like this very much. We're not doing a whole lot of damage. I was saying about the uh, difficulty of enabling the crits on the other weapon, but I sort of assumed that we would be able to uh, do more damage with a weapon where the crits are easy to enable, but in this case... Now, I know that we've lost a level of it, from it, but we didn't lose a level of... Um, I don't think we lost a level of... Uh, not very clever, are you? <laughs> I ain't working for you too well. Uh, I think we lost a level of red. Basically, so I don't think our damage is less in terms of at least the. Um, can I block this? Yes, but only if I'm good at it. <laughs> Please. We're not in dire straits because our shield is so good, but we're in dire straits because it's only our shield that's good. Does that make sense? I have to be good with a shield in order for it to be any good. That works out. Think I can beat this Joker. Let's find out. Ow. Stop it. <laughs> it hurts. I'm getting the hang of it. Ow. you not? <laughs> I got the hang of it a little bit, but it wasn't good enough, basically, is the long and the short of that. Um, I could have done better, admittedly. But I, I, I had the pattern, wallets might, but what I didn't really have was practice implementing it. What I hadn't realised from previous fights with similar enemies is that what they uh, are doing is continuing the attack the next time they see you. I'd realise that. Uh, 
Um, I might have had a better chance in the past. I was assuming basically that their um, their their strategy was to uh, yes, there is. Uh, basically, if you interrupt them enough, that they would have to start again. It is not the case. Um, if you interrupt those ones that we just fought, they will continue the previous attack. So the third one, which does the, the groundy bit, nice, uh, is going to happen anyway. Oh, stop with the pausing. Okay. Uh, not a fan. How about you? Oh, sound's gone. That happens once in a while. It's just the nature of dead cells. It is what it is, you know. Don't try and change it. If you can't accept it for who it is, you know, then you don't deserve to be with it, frankly. Thank you for that. We are getting HP back as a result of being suddenly good at uh, shielding against these things. However, they're not the only things <laughs> to shield against. So, let's just try and keep it simple, stupid. No baddies. It would be a lot easier if there weren't any baddies, actually, don't you think? Alright, one more of those, please. Stop that. You're basically your boss. <laughs> your owner. Your master. Can you dodge? Can you shield that? Or is it like the birdie thing? I'm inclined to assume that you cannot. Um, but it doesn't help me practice the boss, so I don't know how to deal with it. If that makes sense. Which it does, because it's English. Um, yeah, I think we can fight these. Not very well. I appreciate them taking so long to attack. I can't roll through them. I'm silent because this is hard, okay? No! Now mash. Now mash. He's done it. Again, we have used way too much of our HP to get through this. It's always these elites at the end, though, if you notice. Which, I, honestly, I think is... Well, not the end. I think it's okay. Because it means that we are better at the rest of it. And it would be nice if we had had this weapon slightly earlier, just so that we could have upgraded it before we arrived, but I don't think that's actually a huge part of the issue. Here. I do not want to be here, because it's all bad. Furthermore, this um, grenade is kind of no good. Nice. Oh, died anyway. Uh-oh. Okay. Got that. I know that these things are basically the agents of their own destruction. Hey, what? None of that. I, I think this 
before the destruction thing, it was actually a very good opportunity. I'm glad we picked it up because it seems to be doing all of my work for me. Phew. Right, let's step out here and immediately be attacked by the entire country. Yeah. And then. Uh, try and make it to the. What? It was absurdly bad timing. Uh, try and make it to the boss without actually being dead, but. Mm. Why? Just don't attack it. Have we done it? Uh, so we're going to get one heal. One heal. One heal. Light spawn, I, I've yet to been startled by Jen and the dog. 60. <laughs> um, I think this is as good as we're getting. So we will do this. What was that slamming? Hello? Heard the door slam, but I have no idea what it was. We got purple from that. I didn't want that. Um, we didn't. What is it? Where did our money go? <laughs> the other question is: Do we want to reforge these? I look. We're gonna do this because we haven't got any money left. We might as well. We want to take. Everything to do with parrying, I think. Oh, well, there's... There's one about malaise. I'm going to take all the parrying things, and we're just going to try and do as much as we can with our parries. Uh, and this is us, I'm afraid. Uh, don't hold myself out to have much chance, simply because I don't really understand this boss very well. Oh, hiccup in, sorry. I'd love to be able to practice this boss. It's all, it's all the world needs to be able to practice fighting the hand of the king. Set this off. Bring it. Nice. That's too long of a reach. Don't be allowed. Um, my refuge has gone away. I'm not anticipating any of your moves, mate. So, can you just cut me some slack? Can we even parry this dude? Yes, but I get pushed off anyway, so what's the point? I haven't got any healings left, so... It's not going to go well, is it? Yeah, what do you even do? There's just so much happening on the screen, and I don't know what his telegraphs are because we've been at this boss so few times. But <laughs> by the time I get back, I've forgotten, I think, is the problem. I really, really want a way to practice that. Uh, uh, and that's the trouble. It's 2,000 gold as well to start with. That's rubbish. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, I, I, I think I might try and beat the hand again on no boss styles because. I want to get this giant to do his cutscene thingy, you know? Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that we can... Well, I actually forgot we picked up the cavern key. Because I went the wrong way to get to the cavern, which means the graveyard, and I couldn't remember how to get to the brick. It's just so much to know. <laughs> I think on the next run, we're going to do one hit and you're dead, and then we'll do another run after that. But until then, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. And uh, thanks for all the good comments and stuff that I've been getting recently. And I hope you will leave me some more. But until then, remember, join me on Discord. Link in the description below. Uh, until next time, I'll see you.